Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga again. Um, today I have a uh, emergency repot on my Zygo. Because this one is not doing well. You can see this is the new, new growth with these darkened leaves. And I just had it out of the out of pot. And I, I look at the roots still left, but most of them are, are dead as it, as it looks. So I'm not sure what is uh, going on with this one. But... Um, yeah, you may see it here, a dark brown root. And we have some roots here, but you can't see they are, it's, everything is uh, very dark. Let me put it a little bit closer to the camera. And it's uh, also smelly. Yeah, it's, it's not, uh, not as fresh anymore. So I uh, think uh, we uh, need to freshen it up and see what, uh, what is going on. Um, so let me put it aside and get her out of the pot and see what we are uh, left with. This is a uh, not a pot where I try to uh, put in the uh, pebbles. So we can separate them a little bit. So yeah, let's undo this. I have a bit of wire that I need to uh, loosen up, I think. So yeah, well, here we go. Let's see if we can get it out of the pot. Yeah, you see some roots here. They are all uh, dead as well. So something is off. There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see uh, the root, the roots uh, better, and what's happening there. Yes, these are all soft, you can see. I can pull the filament off quite quite easily. So that's not good. Maybe I did have too much synthy, but other, on the other hand, it was in this pot for quite a while. So yeah. Oh, but this is good. I hope you can see it, this new grow. I didn't see it yet, but it's making a new root, so that's that's good news. And we have this is a live root on top of the pot. The one is black, but the rest is black and starting to rot. I will try to uh, get as much off. Some roots are still okay, but most of them are gone. A lot of dead roots here as well. So let me grab my scissors and try to take them off. So yeah, I'm not completely sure what happened here. Because the pH of the water was okay, the parts per million were okay. So yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure what happened here. Oh, we have another new root there, new root tip, right above my finger. So it's making new roots there, luckily. 
And I think those roots are okay as well. But all these roots are dying off. They are on the uh, older part of the uh, plant. So maybe a few started rotting and we did get more rot in the pot. Maybe that's the problem. I'm not completely sure because I have this one for quite some years. This is actually uh, a gift from my, uh, from my mom. So it's very uh, precious to me. I would really like to keep it. So maybe uh, that's why there's some sort of rot started. Just because those roots did, uh, did uh, get older and die off. Something like that. I'm not completely sure. But this root is also on that part and that's on top of the pot not died off. So yeah, I'm not completely sure what happened. But sometimes you just don't know. But I what I do knew and uh, what I do know was that I needed to repot this one. Give it a fresh media, fresh start, so maybe that uh, will get it going again. I hope so. Pebbles. I can reuse. So yeah, once again, I'm not completely sure what happened. Some parts of this root were okay, but the rest was very black, so I thought I'm going to cut it off, just to be sure. And then we have more dead roots here, probably. Take them off like this. So yeah, we don't have much roots left to work with, but we have some. And we have some new ones on the way. So once again, hopefully that will uh, be enough to get it going again. some mold here as well. Oh, I'm sorry, I was a little bit off camera, I think. So we have some mold in the pot as well. So maybe that was the problem. I, I, I really have no idea. But I think what happened was that a few of those roots started rotting, like I said, and um, then the rot did settle in in the pot and the roots couldn't take that type of bacteria, something like that. But once again, it's guessing from uh, from this on. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, so I have a little bit of trouble keeping in in frame because I'm like, I'm so focused on the root system. <laughs> um, yeah. 
So we have some left, some good roots. There's a new root here and we have one started there. So let's hope they will uh, continue to grow. So, yeah. I'm thinking about if I need to cut some back bulbs off, but to be honest at this point I think I'm going to leave them because she can use every energy she can get at the moment. They are already a bit sh shriveling, so therefore I'm uh, I'm going to keep them there. And uh, I will now uh, give this a uh, good soak with hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to leave the bit of Cintiq there, just a little bit there, and because there are some some roots still left there. But most of the rotting roots are now here, as you can see. We have quite a lot of them. So yeah, we really did fresh it up, and hopefully that's uh, that's okay. So I will be uh, right back. I will give this a uh, rinse, a sprint with uh, either some peroxide, like I said, and then we will pot it up again. So I did uh, rinse the root system. And then I did uh, put on some hydrogen peroxide. I also did rinse this one and I cleaned it. It's the same pot. I'm going to put it in the same, uh, same pot again. Also the same outer pot. But I did spray them afterwards with alcohol. So to try to disinfect as much as I can. And now I'm going to pot it up again. And uh, hopefully it will, uh, will start growing. Or keep growing I should say. It's still growing. But and be happy again, which would be fantastic. This one is very special, like I said. This is a gift from my mother, so yeah. I really hope this one will take off. And it did uh, uh, quite well last year for me. In the beginning I struggled with it, so it's not the best looking plant. But then it, I did recuperate it and did start to grow it again. But yeah, now it didn't do so well anymore. Probably we'll never exactly know what happened, and that's okay, but yeah, it was very smelly, so I, uh, like I said, I think some old roots started to die off, and I should have had a uh, clean up earlier. I did leave it too long in the same pot, even though it's uh, inorganic media. And I'm filling up the pot, because we do not have much root, so I don't need to... Uh, position her in yet but now after this layer of Cintiq I will put her back in just a little bit I seem to like the Cintiq and I think I'm going to place her like this in a pot so here we have that beautiful new root, and here is the just starting one, so they can go straight in for that Cintiq in, the, in pumice, and hopefully uh, grow and become strong roots that will support this uh, orchid again. That's the plan, of course. Uh, let me have a look. Cintiq around those roots there to encourage encourage them to grow strongly. <laughs> and yet again, a little bit of Cintiq here. And I think that is enough. Let me check. Some air holes are completely fine. They like a little bit of air in my experience, especially when they are growing so in such a wet environment. You don't want to pack them up completely. A little, little bit of air circulation is, uh, is wanted, I think. 
At least that's how I do it and all uh, my other cycles. Normally my cycles do wonderfully well. And not that long ago we did a reservoir check on my channel and everything seemed to be fine. And it, is, it was fine in the reservoir but I think I did have some, uh, like I said, some rotting bacteria that I, uh, that I cannot measure. So I had no idea that things were happening there. And I didn't wash these because these are drying up and uh, any bacteria that is in a, a dry environment will, uh, will die off anyway. So uh, I just reuse them. I never had problems with that with any other orchids that were in a similar position. Because sometimes it happens. I'm, I'm, it's not the first one where this uh, kind of stuff, this situation is happening. but. It was the first on the uh, side though, actually. But here she is. So I will uh, give it a wrench and put it back and she's a little bit moving so I need to be very careful with those roots. And then uh, she should be fine. So I will be uh, right back. So, and there she is. She's completely watered. She has a reservoir again. She's used to having a reservoir. All uh, freshed up. So hopefully that will be the trick to get this uh, beautiful zygo going again. So currently uh, this fan is running and she's very uh, close to it. And she is there, she was positioned she's on top shelf here for, uh, for months. So uh, that is not a problem. I, I think she uh, prefers some fresh air like uh, the rest uh, do as well. And you can still see that this one is still in bloom, the beautiful uh, white one. And the rest is uh, it's doing fine, so far as I can see. You can see this one is making a heck of a lot of roots. But this is my second oldest one, so probably it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a repot on this one as well. A clean up. I, uh, I will have a think about it. Uh, I really hate repotting, cleaning up. Zygos because they have such a beautiful, beautiful. They have such a beautiful root system, but once you start messing with it, most of the times those roots will uh, will be gone. But um, yeah, hopefully, the one we just did a cleanup on will uh, start making new roots quite quickly, and uh, hopefully doing better soon. So this is it. This was my emergency uh, repot of a zygo, tor torsi blue. And uh, I will uh, keep you updated and we will see how uh, this one will progress in the, in the future. For now, thank you for watching and as usual, if you have any questions or uh, suggestions, please leave, leave them in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as I can. And uh, I really hope to see you at, at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye!